What's going on guys, Smash here, and today I'm going to share with you my very own monk macros that I use to dominate PvP as a Windwalker monk. I'll have all my macros listed in the description below, so let's get into it. So slash M to bring up your macros window, and the first macro I'd like to cover is the pet attack macros. Now as we all know this patch, we now have a pet bar to have far more control than we used to. So what I like to do is replace my main abilities with slash pet attack to them. That way, once your pet is out, you can have control of what it attacks simply by using your four main abilities. My Tiger's Lust macro, I recommend you play around with this macro to suit whatever you do. For example, if you're more into fives, then you might need to create party four and five. Before going into the arena, I recommend practicing using this macro with your arena partners to ensure it works the way you want to. Double buff macro, this one basically just casts your stats buff and then your crit buff. It's great that I can now merge my two buff buttons into the one and also bind this macro so that you can rebuff your team quickly, since most of the time you'll get purged and dispelled often in arena. Teleport and transfer all in one macro. Again, it's great to merge both of these abilities into the one button, but the real magic here is having them work flawlessly together with a binding. It's best to have this macro on a bind that does not require shift. For example, mine is set to V, and all I need to do is press shift V to set up the teleport, and then V to teleport to that location. It's an extremely handy macro, and use it all the time in arena. Stop casting kick macro. It's highly important that when you need to kick, you kick immediately. That is why I've added stop casting to ensure my kick will go off when I need it. Regardless of what you're doing prior, such as spinning crane kick, this is a highly important macro. Detox party macro and detox yourself macros. It's very important you detox your party when they need it, for example DK dots or rogue poisons off your healer. These macros will ensure you dispel like a boss. Burst Macro. Here's my Burst Macro which uses Tiger Eye Brew, PvP Damage Trinket which is the lower trinket slot and for Engineers I use the Glove Enchant. The Glove Enchant only goes off if the PvP Damage Trinket is on cooldown since they don't stack unfortunately. Set Party Markers Macro. Just a handy macro that I found that basically marks your party with symbols for arena purposes. Now onto my Oh Crap Macro. This is great for situations where I'm about to die and I need to live. Popping this will ensure that you use your Battlemaster Health Trinket if you have one and the fortifying brew and then finally your health stone if you have one in your bags. All of this is done instantly and it's saved my butt countless amounts of times. My paralysis all in one macro, basically if you hold down shift it will paralysis your focus target and if you just hit it normally it will paralysis your current target which is super handy. The other one is focus disarm, this does the same thing as paralysis but with grapple weapon, hold down shift and it will disarm your focus target and if you just use it normally it will disarm your current target. I've given you all my secret Windwalker macros, use them well and I hope they help improve your Windwalker play. If you want to help me out, please hit that subscribe button, it helps me out a lot. I hope this guide has helped you and as always, thanks for watching.